Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at the Zelos Mako version 3. I've actually heard this referred to as a version 3.5 since it's the second release of version 3. This is a 300 meter dive watch, and uh, this is in the vintage color. Now, before we get into the watch, let's take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in this wooden gift box with uh, two magnets to retain the lid and then a watch roll. Every uh, Zelos I've purchased so far has come with this packaging. I'm not actually use this as the watch roll, just uh, to store my watch. And this one does come with the Tropic rubber strap. And they all come with this steel warranty card. So let's put this back in the box here. So I do have a couple other Zelos watches, but uh, this one is a little bit smaller, so it fits my wrist better, as I have a small wrist, six and a half inch wrist. Now, I did purchase the teal version of this watch, but I was trying to decide between the teal and this one here. This is a random Rob Tour watch. So I just have to pay for shipping to check it out and see if I made the right purchase decision and going with the teal, but that'll be another video. So let's go over this watch here. Nice bezel action. This has a ceramic bezel with this vintage style loom. I'll do a loom shot at the end of the video. I'm sure it will be a good loom. So overall, I do like the case shape and the design of this watch. The four o'clock crown I like. Kind of um, mixed on the way this crown guard is shaped in here, but it's it's not it's not bad. Kind of reminds me of. Uh, um. Like, um, I don't know what it's called. This is like a sea creature, like some kind of crustacean. Or, but anyway, getting off track there. <laughs> kind of random. But uh, let's go over the measurements. So the lug to lug on this is nice and short at 46. And the case diameter is, is a great size in my mind at 40 millimeter. I think it's a good universal size. And then the thickness on this is 14 and a half. That's with this boxed and domed crystal, sapphire crystal, of course. And this has 20 millimeter lug width, which does taper down to 18. You see the taper right here in these first uh, two links. I do like how the case is cut straight across here. So if you put leather or NATO or any other kind of strap on here, there's not a gap around the corners. However, this case shape, in my opinion, does look kind of strange with the bracelet. If it's a watch with a bracelet, I prefer to hug up against the case. For example, my Seiko SKX here. This one does have uh, hollow end links, but uh, Still kind of shows what I'm talking about. So since I brought the SKX out, let's take a look at the size comparison. The SKX is also 42, I'm sorry, is a 42 millimeter watch versus 40 on this. But the lug to lug measurement is the same on both of these. Uh, let's see if I can, I'll put them this way. Should be able to see a little easier. So that's a part of the, Seiko Magic, the way they design their watches. Also, this has the SKX has 22 millimeter lug width versus 20 on the Mako. 
the thickness is a little bit more on the Mako. But these are dive watches after all, so you can expect them to be a little more thick. This does have a en engraved crown. And the crown size on this is 6.4 millimeter. Oh, and uh, kind of lost track of what I was talking about here. Um, the fixed center link on this guy takes it out to 53 millimeter. And that's actually wider than my wristband. I have a 52 millimeter wristband. And the lug to lug on these fixed center links goes slightly beyond that. So as I mentioned, this is a 300 meter uh, water resistant dive watch. Sapphire box crystal, loomed ceramic bezel insert. And of course there's loom applied to all the indices and the hands. The loomed patina loom matches pretty well with these guild indices as well. Maybe that printing would have looked, I'm just thinking right now, that printing might have looked better if that was also a vintage color versus white. But the date wheel is white, so it does kind of match there. This has the Miyota 9015 automatic movement, which is hand winding and hacking. So I'll unscrew in the crown here. Nice pop there. We're in the hand winding position. The next position out will be your date change. I think the date wheel would have looked better if that was also a vintage color. But that's just a small detail. So onto the bracelet. These are solid end links, solid links. This is not a quick um, quick release strap, or sorry, quick release bracelet. Double deploy it, push button here. This is a nice solid clasp. This portion here is milled. This looks to be stamped. And also you have this nice sharp engraving here. There's actually quite a sharp edge there. But this, as you can see here, there are no micro adjust holes on the side. That's because this has a quick adjustment here. You can pull this tab back. And then you can pull the bracelet out. And then you can just push it in. You don't need to pull that tab to push it back in. So that is a nice feature. You can see how the dual the point works there. These little tabs catch on this opening right here. And the price on this, I said in my unboxing, I think it said it was $429, and that's correct. This was $429. I'm pretty sure they're all sold out now. I actually didn't check. But I'm assuming they are. I know the teal one uh, was sold out. I think this one was one of the last ones available. I don't know. I could be remembering wrong. There's been so many Zelos watches to come out in the past, uh, well, in the past year, really. Also, the numbers on the chapter ring are white as well. So let's get this on wrist. Yeah, just uh, admiring this watch some more. I think it's a good looking watch. So I still do have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four links left that you could reduce the size of this bracelet. I don't know if you'd want to wear this watch if you had a much smaller wrist size than mine. Uh, again, I have a six and a half inch wrist with the 52 millimeter wristband. And these center links are 53 millimeter. But I mean, it's it's a part of the bracelet, so it doesn't really, it doesn't look too big on my wrist the way this is designed. It does curve down. If 
If you haven't uh, already subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you could. Also like the video if you liked it and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this watch. Doesn't look as thick as the 14 and a half millimeter, but I guess that's just the way the case is designed and shaped. So let me pause the video and I'll be right back with the loom. So on the left, we have the Zelos Mako version three vintage colorway. And on the right, I have my SKX009. Taking a look at the loom here. I see they're very comparable. The SKX slightly brighter by eye on the hands and indices. But of course, the Mako does have that loomed ceramic bezel insert, which is uh, dying out kind of quickly here. But also the uh, loom pip is, I would say, just as bright as the SKX, so I can't complain about the loom on the Mako. If the hands were a little thicker, the loom would, of course, be better, but uh, really can't complain about it. So as always, um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.